today we are going to discuss about cardiac cycle the definition of cardiac cycle the period of time that begins with the contraction of the atria and ends with the ventricular relaxation is known as cardiac cycle here we are going to discuss about some of the basic principles of cardiac cycle first one is blood flows from higher to lower pressure contraction increases the pressure valves open or close according to pressure gradients atria systole it lasts about 0.1 second both atria contracts and force blood into the ventricle that's the first phase of cardiac cycle second phase is a ventricular systole it lasts about 3 seconds both ventricle contracts and due to this pressure blood will go to the pulmonary trunk and the iota the third phase is the atria diastole it lasts about 7 seconds relaxation of the atria during which the atria fill with blood from the large veins that's the superior and inferior vena cavae fourth stage is the ventricular diastole here it lasts about 5 seconds begin before atria systole allowing the ventricle to fill passively with blood from the atria in a simple way first atria is going to contract when atria contracts all blood will go to the ventricle so the atria is now relaxing that is the atrial diastole then when the blood is reaches to the ventricle ventricle start to contract that the first stage of systole of the ventricle after that it will goes to give more pressure and contracting more to push the blood into the pulmonary trunk and the iota so that we can say that's a ventricular systole second phase then it goes to the ventricular diastole or the relaxation of the ventricle so once the blood is pushing it start to relax to accept the blood from the atria again so that's known as the early stage of ventricular diastole then again the ventricle is relaxing completely that's a ventricular diastole then this cycle will start with the atria systole again so this is a simple way how can we explain the cardiac cycle